So you want to help me out with with the with the awfulness tonight? I appreciate it because we've it's yeah we we have a uh, it's going to be a special special go around. Are you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. All right, let's get the intro going here. Each week, Catherine goes out on the worldwide interwebs. Finds all sorts of horrible stuff. Brings it back here in a little segment we like to call What the Fuck is Wrong with You? And uh, where are we starting tonight? Um, oh, yes! We, uh, let me send you the link here because we have a. Uh, we're starting off with a 4th of July related one, of course, from Seattle. Let's bring it over here to the screen. Seattle, Washington, in fact. Uh, Detectives arrest man in sale of giant fireworks. Of course, this was going to happen. King County Sheriff's detectives have arrested a man they say was selling giant fireworks, essentially equal to half a stick of dynamite. Um, Senator John Urquhart said the devices called M1000s or half sticks are illegal under both state and federal law. The unidentified man was booked for felony unlawful possession of explosive device and release pending charges. Uh, Urquhart said Friday four of the devices were purchased in an undercover operation for a fireworks stand. A search yielded 21 more in the seller's truck. Spokesman says the man is not a tribal member, but leased his stand from a tribal member. He also sold legal fireworks. How nice. Urquhart said the tribe was not aware he was selling illegal devices. Okay. Half a stick of dynamite. Was the man's name Bert Gummer? <laughs> <laughs> oh, we got the Tremors <laughs> reference going on. That's that's nice. That's nice. That's right. <laughs> okay. Well, really, like that's a bit overkill when you think about it. <laughs> Just the smallest bit. I mean, okay. I, I like the little the little M M eighties and whatnot that go boom, you know, just just fast explosion. Those are nice sometimes. But what the fuck are you gonna do with half a stick of dynamite? It's not pretty. It's not one of those that's oh look, it's special, the sparklies. No, this is gonna put a goddamn hole in something. That's all it does. You know that that scene in Joe Dirt? Where the he's got the Native American buddy, and they think it's a firework, and then it just <laughs> it vaporizes him right in front of him. <laughs> That's yeah. what it would be like. <laughs> and and you know, you know, someone is going to have the sheer audacity to sue over this. Hey, I can't believe you didn't tell me that the half a stick of dynamite could hurt someone. I mean, yeah, the the, the that's not cool, man. It's half a stick of dynamite. There should be a warning on this or something. I can't believe you didn't tell me the coffee's hot. <laughs> and that's you that that is technically a weapon. You go get like if you got two of them, you have a stick of dynamite. You're officially a fucking terrorist at that point. <laughs> and as we're talking about the half stick of dynamite, I hear fireworks going off uh... outside. <laughs> <laughs> a grand american tradition is it not all right but that and and that kids that's starting mildly tonight oh my god um let's move over to the uk this i'm jesus christ man charged with toilet paper theft after police find Six rolls up his bum. <laughs> <laughs> I hope they mean in his pants or in the because wow. All right, number one, if you've jammed six rolls of toilet paper up your ass, you've kind of defeated the purpose. Okay, well, they okay. It says in the story it was down his pants. Why would they word it up his bum then? <laughs> that's not the same thing. <laughs> that's bad. That's bad journalism, I, I, in my opinion. I'm because disappointed. I really wanted a story about a guy <laughs> who could fit six rolls of toilet paper up his bum. I mean, this is really disappointing when you think about it. That's, <laughs> that's the true 
tragedy of the story. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> you will know him 53 by three years old. Really? <laughs> you will know him by his farts of you silence. Can't, you can't afford toilet paper at <laughs> fifty. David really? David Pinkham of Massachusetts was caught out when police spotted him leaving Lawrence City Hall with a case of unused toilet paper. Security videos were used as evidence that he entered the building empty-handed before leaving with the case. Further investigation revealed he had even more about his person with six rolls hidden down his pants. Police report said he pulled six tightly folded toilet paper rolls from his buttocks and groin area. 53-year-old admitted it was not the first time he had swiped loo roll from his place of work and confessed to taking toilet paper and other items on five or six occasions. This guy, I guess after the, you know, the first five times, he figured he had the perfect racket going on here. My favorite part is, is at the end of the story, they talk about this other guy. In April, a German politician was busted after stealing over 200 toilet rolls from the city hall in Stralsund. Really? 200 <laughs> toilet rolls? <laughs> Democracy in action, folks. That's your elected <laughs> officials. Like, I, you know, if I was the one that this person was stealing toilet paper from, I would just, I wouldn't even bother with charging him. Just like, don't do that. Like, <laughs> take your losses, all right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, and then, yeah, you know, how did, if he'd done this five or six times before, how did no one notice that he walks into the building and he walks out with a tremendously swollen groin region? How did no one pick up on that? Just thinking about that dance you did in the one video. Oh, yeah. You, you had <laughs> That's to bring... what it would be like. <laughs> Did they think he was going inside and, and just abusing his crotch and coming out with tremendously swollen testes or something? I mean, really? Oh, okay. Well, here's more awful things people do to their groins. Oh, my. And this is the... Groin stories on the show. Catherine has a talent for them. All right. And now this is the sun. This is the sun. So take this with a grain of salt because the sun is not the most reputable thing on the world. But... Hell of a story. Silicon Willy Con. A National Health Services nurse is offering backstreet silicone ops to enhance male privates using a do-it-yourself sealant gun. Oh. Jeremy Luke Castle offers the 120-pound surgery from a dingy flat where his three cats run about. Uh, <laughs> That's important to know. <laughs> health experts last night admitted the practice is not illegal, despite being potentially lethal if jabs are not properly administered. The Sun found Castle carrying out the, quote, surgery in South London, where pets roam nearby as he uses the grouting gun on men's genitals. Castle, who advertises online and admits he has no formal training, said... It's not rocket science. The scrotum is very easy, and it's just a case of hitting the best place. There's no law that says you can't do it. It's medical-grade silicone. The equipment I use is sterilized with copious amounts of disinfectant. It's not really dangerous. Um, no. No, I would, I would say that if, so, if another man... Is, is using a grouting gun to put silicone in your cock. There is indeed an element of danger involved. And also, he says right after, it's not really dangerous. If it's done incorrectly, you could inject silicone into the blood vessel, and that would result in the patient being, well, de dead. But that's not Which dangerous. I would construe as being fairly dangerous. Oh, come on. Opinion. It's just a little death. You know. Oh, but he, he said he banned the cats from the room when injecting the filler, so it's all right. Oh, okay. Well, that, that <laughs> makes it all right, then. That's a hell of a thing to have happen. You know, you've got another dude sticking your junk with a, with a silicone gun. 
And, you know, in the middle of this, the cat run, comes in. I'm just thinking about your cat, Checkers, just like, Meow! <laughs> Checkers Meow! Like, What's going on? <laughs> Me- uh, Meow! So, yeah, cats Meow! are curious about dangly things. <laughs> yes! It's not a, a new thing. Yeah, that's, uh... <laughs> Meow! Meow! <laughs> That's not so- oh, oh. Bring checkers into this. <laughs> that poor cat. <laughs> oh, guys, that, that you're you're a little desperate at that point. That that's the kind. If you've gone so far as to have silicone injected into your junk, I'm pretty sure you're not getting laid anyway. Call it a hunch. Oh god. Oh dear. All right, but but more stupid. And this, this, oh, jeez. Okay. Uh, the headline kind of says it all. People buy Burger King burgers to feed <laughs> bears. <laughs> that sounds like the best story ever. <laughs> Eagle, Colorado. The Colorado Division of Wildlife says it is looking for two or more people. The witnesses saw feeding cheeseburgers to a black bear and her three cubs at the Burger King and Eagle on Wednesday. <laughs> oh, feeding them by hand? Really? Several witnesses claim people were feeding the four bears by hand. It is an extraordinary example of stupid and irresponsible behavior by people. Regional manager Ron Veraldi said in his news release, because of their reckless action, the sow and the cubs will now know that people mean food. This dramatically increases the likelihood that these bears will get in trouble in the future and have to be put down. Wildlife officials also encourage businesses to install bear-resistant dumpsters to discourage bears from going through them in hopes of discovering food. Okay! It's a bear! It's a fucking bear! I, I like the picture of the bears by the dumpster, though, like, at the Burger King. <laughs> <laughs> they know what's coming! They're like, we're just waiting for that one dumb person. That one dumb guy. You think the bears are, like, grateful that it's not McDonald's? <laughs> <laughs> are these discriminatory? <laughs> stuff this week. Sonic next time. <laughs> Upgrading, moving on up. <laughs> I just... Have you ever seen a bear, a black bear? I, have you ever seen a live black bear in person? Oh, bears will... They'll mess you up. They're like, like furry think. tanks! Like, I mean, like, I, I know you think it's cute and all that, but, like, bears... Yeah! It's it's really not good. I mean, like, you know how, like, when your dog is begging for food and you give him some... And then immediately, the dog's going to want more, and they get worse and worse, and that's how you get problems with that. Imagine that, but it's a grizzly bear who can kill you if you don't give him your cheeseburger. I know! It's like, it's, it's like the Bat... Imagine the Batmobile from the Nolan movies covered in fur. That's a bear! <laughs> that's a fucking bear! <laughs> did, did they give them the fries, though, too? <laughs> like, did they get the whole combo... Or was it? They were really cheaping out on him. I could just see that the, the holding this, holding the big gulp there. For, Here you go, sweetie. <laughs> ah, la, 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 la. <laughs> I mean, cause you know, it it's you know, like you're saying with the dog is like, do you have my burger? No. Bam, and you're dead. That's that's how it would go. Cause you know, if you think if you think it's 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 annoying when your fucking Labrador jumps up and puts his paws here, cause you won't give him food. Imagine that. Only it's a goddamn bear, and you have a bear mouth in your face, like right here. What the hell are you thinking? <laughs> but it's so cute. It's not cute. <laughs> it's a goddamn bear. <laughs> This is, you know, honestly, no, no, I think, I think we should let people do this because they will very quickly get weeded out of the gene pool. No, but see, the thing is, the people who fed the cheeseburgers to the bears, they're not going to get hurt. It's going to be the next person the bears come towards, you know, because hey. they, they got off scot-free or whatever. The bears are like, oh, people got food now. 
<laughs> the parents are going to be like, you got my burger? Bitch, you better have my cheeseburger. My kid has cheeseburger? Like that. Boom, and you're dead. You know, <laughs> you better have my fucking burger. You don't got my burger? Okay. You know what's coming next? You know, Jesus Christ. You know, but they got a good point. It is a good photo opportunity. It is. As they're mauling said person and their families and children. Someone would YouTube. The camera. <laughs> Someone would YouTube that shit. That, that, uh. All right, what do we, oh, God. God damn it, Catherine. I love you, Catherine, but Jesus Christ. It's not a what the fuck is wrong with you till someone molests an animal. <laughs> and let's get this guy on the big screen because he's just purdy. <laughs> Sheep sex parolee arrested at stockyard. Is that the face he made when he was getting ready to have sex with the <laughs> Hey, sheep. <laughs> you know what's coming. I, if I was a sheep, I would run like hell. I, I got a cheeseburger for you. <laughs> <laughs> a Battle Creek man convicted of having sex with a sheep five years ago was arrested early Friday and charged with breaking into an Emmett, Emmett Township stockyard. Jeffrey Haynes, 48, was arraigned Friday on charges of breaking into the Farmer's Livestock Marketing Service and resisting officers after police said he attempted to flee. Haynes served a prison sentence after pleading no contest in 2006 to sodomy with a sheep. Oh, Jesus, the fact that that's a law. That's, oh, God. In case Haynes was in that case, Haynes was arrested by Battle Creek Police after investigators determined he had sex with sheep in the Bedford Township barn. He was released from parole on in May. And the township police said Friday officers went to the livestock exchange for a burglar alarm. Um, when officers shined a light, he fled and was then found hiding in a stall before trying to flee on foot again. He was apprehended and taken to town jail. He just got out on parole. He just got the fuck out on parole. Okay. Well, he also stole a six-pack of chocolate donuts and a cheese danish, which I think is the worst crime here. <laughs> uh, five cows and six hogs were on the property at the time, but were not disturbed. <laughs> I just... My Was God. he sharing the donuts and the danish with them? Oh. <laughs> Hey, sheep, got a little Danish for you. <laughs> I ran just... out of cheeseburgers. <laughs> I'm just, oh, God, this guy. So, like, that that sheep is going to forever be afraid of Danish. <laughs> like, that's what he's going to associate with Danish. <laughs> Have, like, like, flashbacks. <laughs> I don't get it, Vern. I come into work. It's lunch break. I have a day. And suddenly all the sheep, they're assholes, pucker. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> Something weird. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <sighs> and he just got out of Pearl for the same damn thing. He got out in May. It's now July. And he's doing the same fun. Did he spend all that time in jail thinking... The minute I get out, I'm fucking me a sheep. I have learned nothing. Why must Danish always making bad decisions? <laughs> oh no! Said sheep. <laughs> he denoob the sheep. <laughs> and my my channel is not getting the references, but it's really funny if if you overactor gets them. It's all right. <laughs> okay, yeah. At least one person. <laughs> <laughs> oh, got another one from the UK. This is, it, oh, this is a gamer story. This is a gamer story, asshole gamers. Xbox are swatted after armed cops sent, after online spat. I think especially actually happened in the U.S. Yeah, it was a SWAT team, so it was the U.S. But uh, the family of a, fix, of a 15-year-old Xbox player was raided by heavily armed police after a disaffected online opponent made a hoax emergency call claiming there was a home invasion in progress. According to news reports, and it's Florida, SWAT, or Special Weapons and Tactics Police, entered the Naples, Florida residence of Hunter 
Jelinas after receiving a false report that he had been stabbed and his family was being held captive. The report blames a stunt on a fellow Xbox user the youth had met online. They had a whole SWAT team at my door and I came out of my room and they've got their guns pointed at me. The incident is the latest to highlight the real-world perils that follow virtual rivalries that start in Microsoft's Xbox Live network and other services. In 2006, security expert Kevin Finster of Digital Munition found the Xbox account of his girlfriend had been banned shortly after he had accused several online opponents of cheating during a heated game of Halo 2. All right, no, no, no. This is a different category. This is, this is hacking, not someone sent the fucking SWAT team to his house. This is at a different level. Apparently what they did was they found his IP, they spoofed his telephone number, and they sent the fucking cops to his house. The kid's I just, 15 years old. 15. You're taking what this you, shit way too serious. What are you doing nowadays? Them youngsters... You're taking this shit too serious! Man, he kept spawn camping me! Fuck him! I'm sending the cops! We, we need to learn a proportionate response to this shit. Not, get better at the game. Not, don't play with the fucker. Not, ban him or, 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 or uh, ignore him on the service. No, no! Let's send the cops there, because that proves... I don't know what that proves. What the fuck does that prove? I'm just, I'm imagining the Nazi werewolves and American werewolf in London bursting <laughs> through the door. <laughs> like, they're like, oh, that fucker. <laughs> Send in the team. I mean, Jesus Christ. Kids are evil. Yes. Yeah, some of the, ch Durga. Yes. Kids are evil. This is why I will never have them. Because they do this shit. Because they're assholes. I mean, it was either that or they got the half a stick of dynamite fireworks and sent them their way, so. Uh, kids are assholes. Never have kids. They're assholes. Oh, uh, oh, God. Oh, gee, go, oh, God. Motherfucker. <sighs> oh, and this is from South Carolina. This is from where? Uh, Spartanburg, North South Canada Carolina. Really? Catherine, what the hell? I love you, Catherine. Jesus, God. Authorities in South Carolina say they arrested a man who was allegedly caught by a store clerk with his private parts in a money deposit bag. Spartanburg County Sheriff's Office said a clerk at the hotspot store in Spartanburg told deputies the man identified as Alan Ray Walker, 47, of Cowpens. Yes, there is a town called Cowpens in South Carolina. Big surprise, I know. Entered the store Sunday and headed for the restroom. Clerk said she saw the man exit the store's office about 15 minutes later with his pants on the floor and his penis inside a plastic money deposit bag. She said the man left after an argument and handed the bag to another clerk on his way out. Now here's, here's the kicker to this. The sheriff's office said a deputy found Walker in his trunk and he was found to be in possession in his trunk and he was found to be in possession of a substance that tested positive for cocaine along with a glass pipe, a 25 caliber handgun, and $4,200 in cash. Realize that had he not stuck his junk in a money deposit bag in the store, he would not have been Brought up on charges of possession of cocaine. This is just poor planning all around. What the pull? What was? What was he? What was the plan? What the hell was the plan? I just I don't know. What was the plan? Clearly, he was wanting to. Bears cheeseburgers afterwards. <laughs> I love how you have nothing. You you you, got, you just got nothing. I got, I got nothing. I uh, that's dumb. That's all I got. That's just beyond dumb. <laughs> that is stunningly dumb. That is that is the kind of dumb that just makes you go. I'm done. I'm. Do you, you think like as they're arguing the through his head, he's like, "What can I do to get her back?" <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> All right. Perfect plan. No, no. The argument was after. He stuck his junk in the bag. What? Uh, what's the position you're taking in this argument? What side are you taking? What? How are you arguing your case here? I, I sincerely hope that's what the argument was about. Hey! The, the penis in the bag. Hey, did, did you just put your penis in, in that deposit bag? <laughs> but you know what? You're not pulling your slack around here. Let's argue about that, alright? <laughs> I just have to have my penis in a bag. <laughs> I mean, we share a genome with this person. That's what. That's what. <laughs> we share a chromosome sequence with this motherfucker. <laughs> and finally tonight, just, just the most disheartening. Oh, you, you kind of want to feel sorry for this guy, but then you don't. Here, isn't he pretty? Let's let's get him up on the big screen, because he's a pretty guy. There he is. <sighs> Chronic masturbation su syndrome sufferer su sues jail for porn ban. <sighs> Kyle Richards thinks that the ban on pornography and erotica... Enforced by the Macomb County Jail and, to a lesser extent, the absence of video games in individual cells, amounts to, quote, cruel and unusual punishment and is therefore unconstitutional. 21-year-old Richards, who's coping, who's coping with, quote, chronic masturbation syndrome and severe sexual discomfort, end quote, apparently needs porn to treat these medical conditions and want to explore this legal issue in court. To that end, he's filled he's filed a five page handwritten lawsuit in US court and district in Detroit against Governor Rick Snyder and the state of Michigan, in which he demands that prisoners at the jail be allowed to possess erotic pornographic materials along with personal televisions, video game consoles, and radios. I I I I I, I get yeah. Uh, <laughs> okay, like, let's say I don't know if this is real. Chronic masturbation invasion syndrome, whatever. If it is real, I, I guess I get that. You know, if it's a syndrome or whatever. Uh, but it, it, what gets to me is is when they talk about it, he's he's done other lawsuits before, so he's just kind of doing this all the time. I just realized this man is willing to be known to the world as a chronic masturbator in a it, court of law. Well, if he really is going so far as to sue them over it, he could be a chronic masturbator. I mean, that's a problem. <laughs> I... Yeah. I... God! I feel like my brain is boiling in my skull right now! Yeah. I just... <laughs> uh -huh. Really? This this guy. And I love the picture he's got here. He's just like, hi. He's like, he's now the poster child for chronic masturbation. He kind of looks like like he's saying, my bad. Uh, Sorry. <laughs> what do you mean to rob that bank? If I were in jail to begin with, I would be like, Okay, I'll serve my time. I'll get the fuck get the fuck over with. I don't want to get in fucking in the fucking national news for filing this goddamn lawsuit. It's like, well, I fucked up my life. Let's make it worse. And the internet is forever. So, just on the odd chance he ever gets out of jail and tries to re-enter society and say uh, an employer Googles his name. 
the first thing that's going to come up is this fucking story. He's going to end up like the guy with his penis in the money deposit bag. It's, <laughs> that's where you go from there. Remember, folks, the internet is forever. And if you ever do anything like this, the minute you do, it will become immortal. The story will outlive your stupid ass. Oh, all right, wait. we lost you there a second. What? I said we lost you there a second. Oh, but I'm back? You're back now. Okay. Oh, God damn. This is Jesus Christ. I uh. So there we are. That's that's the news for tonight. Why do I do this to myself? I don't know. <laughs> I my it's my brain wants this to make sense somehow. Somehow, just to get from point A to point C, I want to find the point B in the middle. It just, it never, it does not work in my head that these people might have gone to point V in order to get to point C. <laughs> what? what? No, Why are you laughing at me? Come on here, it's the same stuff. <laughs> That slowly breaks you. <laughs> it never ends! It ne I, I am never going to run out of material. That, but that means I've got job security as far as the recorded show, but I'm never going to run out of material. There will never come a day when I'm done. That's what's terrifying. Forever and ever and ever. <sighs> Forever. Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> I am abandoned! <laughs> oh god. Well, thank you, Lupa, I guess. Thank you no for problem. suffering through it with me. <laughs> we'll see you later. Good night. Alright.